Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the first episode of Gran Turismo Wishlist. Now, the one thing that I do want to see in Gran Turismo is engine swapping. Now, they have all the tunes, but they don't have engine swapping. Of course, this would be a technically demanding, if not impossible, thing to do, you know, if you wanted to fully flesh it out. But, personally, I think it would be a great addition and it would make cars even more customizable. And really, it's all there, but the problems would lie within weight, um, size. It would be really difficult to have however many, a thousand cars, fifteen hundred cars, and then be able to swap out whatever you wanted. So there probably would be limitations. But I think that it would be great to have, say, take a uh, Honda S2000 and throw in a big V8, or take a small hatchback and then put in a V12 in the back. You know, that, that, that would be stunning to see some of these cars because everybody tries to go high horsepower high tune that you see but it would be cool to be able to find the engine that you like and then be able to put in try it out in different cars now i'm thinking that uh, it's one of the only ways to really do this is to also the drivetrains would be so much different also so it couldn't just be the engine but yeah since it is a simulation it's a video game it's not real life you can there there could be a workaround to that by maybe adding extra weight putting the new gearbox in all the four-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, front-wheel drive, all that to make it a better car, make it more like the original car with the original engine either by putting a new body on top of the existing drive train like they do in some cases. But this would definitely open up a whole new avenue of um, car customization, uh, people showing off their cars, what they did with different types of engines, making it sound completely different and then even I'll be able to take out race engines and then put it into just uh, non-race cars um, just so you got that huge horsepower boost without you know just having a, a stock looking car now if it was implemented I would assume it would be rather expensive I mean you know if you look at nitrous what is it hundred grand hundred credits hundred thousand credits so I would expect you know the price of the engine plus the parts and labor you know you could add it up create an equation to figure out how much it would cost, you know, for in-game credits. So it was something to work towards, something that you couldn't do just randomly and easily. So, you know, it's just, it would be a massive tune, so it would cost far more than just regular tuning, but that would be part of, you know, working on the car, making it more custom, make it more feel like your own. Since the game is already so replayable just with all the different cars and all the tweaking, it would make it even more replayable just being able to take a single car and be able to try hundreds of engines on it, see what works, what doesn't, what sounds good, what works in races, doesn't add too much weight, too little weight, and then also the different types of tuning that you'd have to do with weight ballast, say if you had a larger engine, you'd have to add more weight to the rear to keep the uh, the balance of the car if it's up too high too low you know center gravity you know it could throw everything off so that'd definitely be something to uh, to tweak besides just you know what they have right now which is great and this would be the next evolution since they have perfected the gameplay so well where they could go somewhere else with it is something like this more um, customization towards the cars but still keep it in line but I could see problems with licensing uh, car makers not wanting to have their engine in another car makers car so I highly doubt this would ever happen but it would be a great idea or even you know make it so that they wouldn't have those complications you could just uh, put in the specifics for the engine for the weight and everything and then that way you know they bypass all the copyright laws and all the other laws that they might infringe by doing this now, if you're wondering, this uh, gameplay footage was uh, Shelby GT350 I took around, well, twice around the lap. I put a couple dents in the first lap. Just, you know, uh, getting used to the car. I haven't driven in a long time. But, yeah, I took it around Nürburgring for this video, and uh, I actually got an 827 lap out of it using sport hard tires, which is actually a pretty quick lap. Uh, I believe the performance points is around 453, so that's about right. But since it's such an older car with a top speed of 139, 140, for the Nurburgring that's a great lap because normally I'll get a, about an 8 minute lap off of an Evo 10 using the same tires, no uh, no assistance. So the, it, it's actually a pretty fun car to drive. Um, first gear does kind of smoke the tires a little bit, but otherwise uh, it does have that old car feel but it still has a performance to go around corners and everything. But in, if I was to drive like that in real life in this car, knowing how bad the safety was back then, 
I would be scared totally shitless, and I could probably never pull off even a 10-minute lap around the Nurburgring. But it, at least it's a video game. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, um, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.